Welcome to the Google Genealogist, utilizing the latest tools from Google to organize your family history. This is part three in the family history process. We did two videos, part one and part two, on finding your family history. This one will be on organizing, and we'll ultimately do one on publishing as well. Google Docs will be the first product I'll talk about today. I'll also talk about Google Maps and Google Earth as well. So with that, we'll jump right in to the internet and look at Google Docs. This is the home page here. You can see that the idea is to create and share your work online. So you can upload your files from your desktop, you have access anywhere, you can share your work. And I can do one document, for example, and work on it with multiple people all over the world because it resides in the internet. I can create documents, spreadsheets, presentations, drawings, and forms as well. I can watch some videos too to get started or read the Google Docs blog also. So I'll go ahead and sign in now and we'll show you what this looks like. So here I am with the documents that I've created or uploaded into Google Docs. The Google Genealogist is the PowerPoint presentation that I've been using and I built this right here on the internet using Google Docs. A very easy uh, process. Back here, I also have something I can do. I can create a form. A form is basically like a questionnaire or a survey that I could do. So let's say I wanted to ask family members where they wanted to hold the reunion uh, for next year and what kind of activities they wanted to have. Well, I come up here and I create a question. I can put some help text in, decide what type of question I want to have, and then I can make this a required question or not. Or not do a second question as well and just go through here title it and give this email out and send this survey out and then when people click on the link they'll respond and all of the information will be organized for you in a spreadsheet right here in Google Docs. Also one other thing I want to show is an image that I actually uploaded into Google Docs and when I uploaded it I said I want this to be changed and I want the text to be trained to be changed to the corresponding Google Doc format. So this is just an image from Pioneers and Prominent Men of Utah. You can see there's a lot of text in it. But as I go down, I've seen that through the OCR technology, Google has given me this text uh, as I've uploaded this into Docs. And I can change it and edit and modify it any way I want. The transcription isn't 100% accurate, but it saves me a lot of time that I don't have to actually go back and type all of this information in. And so that's one thing that I've used to help me organize my family history, and it's been very, very helpful. Back here, you'll see uh, prompts here to use the classic look. You'll notice if you use Google products that they can change from time to time. And this is the new look that they're hoping to roll out in many of their products. So this is Google Docs. We'll go back and get the attribute. The Google Genealogist uses Google Docs to access data online rather than on paper. Let's do Google Maps. We'll jump back to the internet and come in. I've done a search for Salem, Massachusetts. You can see, of course, that I can get directions and I can also search nearby and find things uh, within the proximity of what I can see on the map. But also, they've integrated Google Earth with this as well, so I can change the view. I can look at traffic and photos and weather. So it's pretty, pretty fun. Well, I'm interested in cemeteries in Salem. So I'm going to type Salem, Massachusetts, and then the word cemeteries. As I zoom in here, I'll be able to tell which cemeteries they are. So this Harmony Grove cemetery is the one that I want. So I'm going to grab this little guy and go put him right here on that street. And this is something that Google's incorporated with maps called Street View. And now you can see I'm actually at the cemetery itself. And I can go up and down the streets here and do a little bit of looking. And I'm at home using the internet. And this is just something that's wonderful. The technology can really be helpful as I organize, for example, a research trip. Let's close this and do an international example. I'm going to do Liverpool, England. Click on that. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. The good way to tell if your uh, 
street has been filmed, what Google does is they have a little street car that goes around with a camera on top and it takes pictures of the streets. And that's why they call it the street view feature. The best way to tell if it's been filmed is to grab your little guy and if it turns blue, you're in luck. So we're gonna go drop this man here in Liverpool. And here you can see I'm in Liverpool. And I can go down the streets. You see the streets here are labeled, St. Anne Street. And so I can just go around and get a look and feel for this city uh, on the other side of the ocean. And so that's the street view feature here in Google Maps. Now I'm going to come down here and click my Google Earth button. This is a program that you can download on your computer. I'm going to close this tip. And you can see as the Earth gets closer and nearer that I've got little yellow pins in different places. Well, what I did is I decided to pin places throughout the world where ancestors were born. And so I can come in here and since I've saved the pins, I can click on Denmark, for example, and it'll zoom right over in here and take me right down to this little town where one of my ancestors was born. I can also come in and create videos. I've done a video, I've clicked on it, and now I've got a little bar that's going across here telling me where I am in the video. And this is just something that I've been able to create to kind of help people see where in the world ancestors were born. And so I can zoom in and out and do all kinds of stuff. Let's say I want to jump over to Sweden. It's as easy as a double click. And then I come in and see this ancestral town as well. So this is Google Earth. You've got all kinds of tools up here that will let you rotate the world and view it in different places. Uh, just fantastic technology, but again, a way to organize your family history. So the attribute here is that the Google genealogist uses online maps to plan trips and do research before ever taking that trip. So this has been the Google genealogist, and this one has been organizing your family history. I hope that's been helpful, and good luck.